Hello, this is Phil Thatch, and I'm here at Camp Jordan Arena in East Ridge, Tennessee, and I'm going to attempt to photograph indoor soccer. This ought to be pretty crazy. It's not very bright in here at all. I think I'm going to be around 6400 ISO, but I'm going to give it a shot. I've got the Z6, and I have the 70-200 f2.8, as well as some others. There's this, this shielding all the way around the field but I've come over here to the non-spectator area where I'm about to probably get busted to try to shoot from here so I can get a low shot, although I may get thrown out. The spectator area is over there and you're not supposed to get close to the railing and I would definitely have to be close to the railing to shoot from over there. So hopefully I can get away with shooting over here. All right, so this is the camera that I used during the indoor soccer photography. My trusty old Nikon Z6, isn't that funny? I've had it long enough to call it my trusty old. I remember when it was the newest and the latest and the greatest. Trusty old Nikon Z6, the FTZ adapter, and my very old 70-200 f2.8 G VR2. Great lens. I shot all the shots at f2.8, one five hundredth of a second manual and ISO 6400. I used uh, autofocus continuous, back button focus, and the area I used was wide area small and I didn't use the very fastest drive mode because I didn't want to have 50 billion pictures to go through. I used the second to the fastest which is continuous high and I ended up making about a thousand maybe a thousand fifty pictures and let's go into Lightroom and I'll show you my favorites. Okay so here we are in Lightroom and as you can see here we are over here there's the settings that I mentioned one five hundredth for high speed soccer like this, and these guys were really fast, I would have liked to have been a lot faster than this, but it was pretty doggone dark inside the Camp Jordan arena, at least when you're wanting to do sports photography. I shot wide open at f2.8, and to get the exposure pretty good, I needed to go all the way up to ISO 6400. I would have liked to have shot at 1600 ISO and at least, uh, one one thousandth of a second but the light just wasn't there for me so these pictures ended up being pretty noisy so what i did was i went through all the pictures all 1050 of the photographs i went through every single one of those pictures and i took all the sharpening out first and then i cropped all of the ones that i liked to the way that i thought the final product would be so there they were completely unedited other than taking out any additional sharpening and then cropping them how I liked them. And then I ran all of the pictures, all the pictures you're about to see, I ran them all through a program called Topaz Denoise AI at its default settings. And they, uh, that process, these pictures, it denoised them and sharpened them. Then I brought them back into Lightroom as you can see these, uh, let's see, uh, these TIFF files that I'll be showing you are the ones that have been through Denoise AI. And then I did a little bit of editing to them and that's it. Uh, really not a whole lot done to these. And let's look at them now. All right, there we are inside Camp Jordan. The, the team from my daughter's school is wearing the burgundy jerseys and they did well. I'm looking at you here, but I'm also gonna be looking at my monitor right over here. So sorry, I'm not looking right at you. Uh, you know, not a whole lot to say about these because the settings is the same in every single picture. Um, but I really uh, was happy with the way these turned out. Let's get that back full screen. Actually, you know what, seeing as how we know every single one of these, well, no, let's leave it like this so you can see the millimeters. 130 millimeters on that one, that will change from picture to picture. Some of them lent themselves more to a square crop and others looked better uh, in this aspect ratio. Some of them I did wide. It just kind of however it looked best. But man, this, I don't know if you've ever been to uh, indoor soccer in an arena with a really small field and, and uh, really good athletes. But man, it was exciting. I, I've photographed a lot of soccer in my time, but this was the most exciting match I've ever photographed. How about that? A lot of fun. Now it was hard. Uh, there, there was a spot that I could shoot from the non-spectator side of the field. And some of these shots are from that spot 
where I could be lower where I would like to be. But I always felt like I was going to get in trouble for being over in the wrong area. And uh, look at that. What a play. Uh, so I ended up shooting most of the time over on the spectator side and you're not supposed to be right up against the barricade, but I went way away from the field and right next to the barricade and, and nobody got onto me for shooting from there. And I didn't get in anybody's way from that spot. And also, uh, I had a pretty decent angle on the field. I would have liked to have been down lower, uh, maybe where this gentleman is standing. And maybe if I, if I do this again next year, I might try to get on field and see if I can get away with shooting on the field. That would be much better. But even when I wasn't shooting on the field, it was still pretty awesome. Look at these photos. This is a 200 millimeter shot. And some of these are cropped a whole lot and some of these aren't cropped much at all. Um, but you know, the, the 70 to 200 on full frame was perfect. Probably shouldn't have uh, upped the shadow so much in that shot. But, uh, you know, when I shoot big field soccer, I use this same lens, the 70 to 200, but I use the, uh, I use an APS-C camera. So it gives me uh, 300 millimeters of range, basically. But I didn't need that much range inside this gymnasium. Or arena, I should say. But man, it was fun. Uh, this is probably the fastest sport I've ever photographed inside and the uh, least light. This, this arena has some light, but it's definitely not as much as my daughter's high school gymnasium where I do some basketball and volleyball photography sometimes. You may see some of that on the channel. Um, so that's why the, the ISO was so high and the shutter speed was so low. But man, it was fun. And it was fast paced and, and you know, they, they, uh, they played two 20 minute halves. So it went by pretty quick. I didn't find myself worn out, uh, when I was done, but I was never bored at all while I was making these photographs. This is my one, my, uh, uh, one complaint, this area down here, this out of focus area, this is the fence that I was shooting over. And this guy right here, this is Ian and he was awesome. And, and a lot of his shots were, uh, near the goal, but on the far side. So to get him in the picture, I also had to have this, the barricade in my shot. So that's one more reason why I really need to shoot this sport from the field. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. The team from my daughter's high school ended up winning. I can't remember the score. I want to say 12 or nine to five, maybe. Uh, so that was really cool. You know, a high, uh, a high scoring soccer match, much more entertaining. Maybe all soccer should be on a smaller field. So it's, so there's more scoring and it's more entertaining. Look at that. Everybody going for that ball. There's another 200 millimeter shot. And then this one's only 110 and this one's only 75. So it just depended, but that lens was perfect for this. Look at that shot. Look at that effort these guys are putting in. That's another 200 millimeter shot. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys saw my Topaz Denoise AI video that I made. I'll put a link to it in the top of the screen at some point during this video, but what an awesome program because these pictures were really noisy. You know, the Z6 is great at, at uh, not showing a lot of noise, but you know, at 6400 ISO, there's going to be some noise. And I think there's probably still a little in these in spots, uh, but that program, that AI, I guess stands for artificial intelligence. And it kind of uh, takes the noise out of the areas it thinks are not important and leaves sharp the areas it thinks are. So if you look really close, uh, you'll see noise like in the players, but not so much on the grass. And that's kind of a, that's kind of a great compromise. So I guess I'll, uh, they, the soccer season hadn't started for my daughter's high school yet. So I guess I'll be taking photographs of these players on the grass at some point. Um, but gosh, I don't see how it could be any more fun than, than in this arena on the small field. Super fun. 150 millimeters here. 
140 here, 135, 145. Yeah, that the 70 to 200 was pretty much perfect for this on full frame. 130 for that shot. And there they are, victorious. I think this was the final match in a tournament and my daughter's school's team won. So there they are, the champions. Well, arena soccer was completely awesome. I totally enjoyed it. Uh, I shot the whole time with the Z6 in um, full manual, 6400 ISO, 1 500th of a second, F2.8. And, uh, and it was fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.